Welcome, my name is Robert McGee and today I will be talking to you about Houdini and Houdini Engine and how you can use them to create game art for your Unity projects. Houdini is a procedural, node based solution and much like Algorithmic's Substance Designer, which lets you build textures using node networks, Houdini does the same but focuses on 3D objects and effects. Houdini Engine lets you extend that procedural approach right into the Unity game editor to assist with the building of environments and game levels. Before I show you how this all works, let's take a look at two games created by indie developers who have found success using Houdini and their Unity projects. Here we have Suki and the Shadow Claw, a 3D adventure platformer being developed by Luis Garcia of Feline Arts in Mexico. He is developing his game for PC and consoles using Unity. Because he works independently, Luis chose Houdini and his procedural workflow to establish a more efficient pipeline for the creation of game assets and levels. Here you can see a procedural bridge that he uses to set up in his game. You can see the controls that he has here for getting a unique result each time he places one of these. And here you see that same bridge being set up and used in the Unity Editor. Next we have Ari and the Secret of Seasons, a 3D action-adventure puzzle game for PC and console. It's developed by Exxon, a Brussels-based indie game team who chose to use Houdini's procedural workflow to help them create a rich world with a wide variety of content. This project includes characters, procedural assets, and effects. Later in the presentation, we return to these two projects and take a closer look at how Houdini was used to create the game art. For now, let's talk a bit about how Houdini works. As already mentioned, the key element is its procedural node-based workflow. As you work interactively in Houdini's 3D scene view, everything you do creates a node. These nodes are connected to build networks, and each of these networks defines a recipe or a flow of data. These recipes can be used over and over again, and it's easy to share them with your colleagues. Now the traditional way to share your work would be to save out to a common interchange format. You could render or bake out to TIFF or Targa, or export to an FBX or Lumbic file. The issue is that this is no longer procedural, and the flow of data in the nodes will be flattened. Of course, this approach can be good for some workflows, such as creating real-time effects, generating high-res meshes, or exporting character rigs. But if you want to retain the procedural nature of the network, then we need a different approach. For Houdini artists, this means collapsing your network into a Houdini digital asset. Now all the original nodes and networks exist inside the asset, and then you can promote parameters from these nodes to create a high-level interface for artists to work with. And you can add other elements to the asset, such as inputs, outputs, embedded geometry, and more. Once these are part of the asset, it gets stored on disk for sharing. The asset can then be referenced into other Houdini sessions where the new node is treated like any other node in Houdini, even those written by our developers. You can work with its handles and parameters to leverage its internal network and access its procedural nature. But what if you want to have the same kind of control in another application such as the Unity Editor? This is where the Houdini Engine comes in. While you plug the Houdini Engine into Unity, you can now load Houdini digital assets and the engine will cook the node networks using the Houdini libraries, then deliver the results to the host application. Within Unity, you will have access to those high-level controls we built earlier, and once you tweak any of the PARMs, the engine will again cook the nodes and update the results in the host. You can see that Houdini is working under the hood to allow these procedural assets to work in the Unity editor. When you build the game, a baked-out version of the asset will be used during gameplay, the asset is still in the editor to allow for future edits and tweaks, but its procedural nature does not carry over. The Houdini engine is not a runtime solution, but rather a content creation engine for your editor. The Houdini engine for Unity plugin was first announced in 2013 along with a similar plugin for Autodesk Maya. A 3D Studio Max plugin is in the works for 2018. Over the last year, SideFX has rebuilt the plugin from the ground up. You can now access the 2.0 plugin with recent production builds of Houdini 16.5. The new features include a deeper integration into the Unity interface. This includes proper support for prefabs, a new painting workflow, 
and a better presentation of the asset bits and pieces within Unity. Support for packet primitives, which are used in Houdini to set up instancing. A new curve editor, which is often used as an input mechanism for assets. And support for Houdini's height field based terrain tools.